Hey guys, my name is Gerald LaFunk. I'm a producer. Uh, I make bass house music and today I'm going to show you how I make my 150 BPM bass house. So um, I already loaded the project and I first of all I have to say this project is a project I just start so it's not good mixed and I think that's the good part to show you guys uh, how it sounds now and how it sounds uh, when a track comes out you probably heard a lot of music in bass house from uh, 128 BPM till 130, 135 BPM. Um, that's also what I did before, but I wanted to do something else. And when I play live, I want as much possible energy in my set. So uh, I felt more energy in 150 BPM bass house. Uh, so that's basically what I'm doing right now. So. We will start with the intro. It's still pretty simple. I will show you what I did. So the first 15 seconds is really basic. Takes claps. Second part uh, is with a bass line. Same bass line as the drop, so for recognizing. And this part is where we start the track. It's really important for me. I call it a pre-break. So um, it's basically showing people in the crowd or li people that listen to the track what comes next, but not everything so just a little piece uh, and i did it with the focal as you can see it's a focal from splice i guess cymatics yeah i think so i'm not sure but i'll show you the original so that's it i speed it up and i pitched it up and then you get this and together with all the effects you got it like this and then the break starts for this break i really like to do uh, something catchy and i use the deep house sample you hear it a lot in deep house just a simple sign shot what did I do with it I acute it in the highs and the low a little bit and together with the focal you get this it's just the beginning and there was the groove I wanted to uh, create. So the original vocal goes like this. And in this part of the track, I cut everything and made it more groovy. So I like that part. And together with the sign shot, it's... But it was too empty, so um, I added a lot of sounds. Um, I'll show you everything. That's uh, a white, something like a tom, and it's pretty wide, so you get the full effect. Um, another one, I made this with silent. Then we have this one. Uh, So all those little sounds make the complete break sound really full and that's what I want. So together with the main sound. And then of course the low, the bass line. I put it two bass lines 
because it was really hard to get the I, I couldn't choose between the really low sub and the high baseline. So this why I have the uh, high baseline and it's the really low. You probably don't even hear it on headphones, but it's still there. And if you play it live, you feel it. So together. So that's the basic for the um, for the break. After I finished this, I put it an extra uh, groove on it. So here you have different claps, a stadium clap, a crash, a ride. Uh, yeah, that's it. So together you get this. It's really groovy, it's catchy. And it works live. And then the second part of the break. So in this part you will hear the bass line is not mixed very well. And the big difference in the second part of the break are the signs that I added. Uh, so this little plug is, is an extra. This one ugly sound of course you have the, um, the signs and I switched them with the vocals so when the sign uh, is playing here the vocals up here are muted and when the vocals are playing the signs are muted so and you get it like this Still looking for the right sounds to uh, to fill up the second part of the break. I already added this kicks only for the lows for the attack, so you get more the feeling that something is coming. So. We get to the build up. The build up is really simple. I just uh, re looped the focal, nothing special, just this. And I added some uh, kicks, some snares, of course, to build your uh, climax. This one again, the snares. I have a little riser right here. And that basically it. So if you're listening to this loop right here, you hear the moon baton kind of snare in the background. Um, I cut the highs because it had some claps on it. Uh, I'll show you. And I didn't like the claps. It was too big room for me. So uh, I cut the high and put it and snare on it so together it sounds like this and then it drop the most important thing of the whole track that's what i think I'm really a drop guy. I really like to make drops. Um, and that's my main thing. I don't like to make breaks, um, but this is something else. This break is really catchy and I like to make it, but the drop is really my thing. So I'll show you what the um, drop does. Um, it has four layers of sounds. And it's pure bass, so starting with this uh, mid bass. 
second one and the third one are pretty much the same as you can hear this one and but the difference are the first sound is really wide and the second one is mono so together you have the full body and this extra sound this is really important without this sound it sounds really empty really shit so uh, i had to edit this one i cut all the lows all the mids everything till you only had uh, as you can see it's only high it's really simple but without it sounds really empty i will show you later so this together makes the main lead it's really bassy then of course really important the bass line made it in serum nothing special just a simple bass line but what i did i slide the first uh, bar as you can see it's on uh, f3 and the rest is from f2 so so i have this three long bass line notes and the rest is really short and it gives you a groove that if you have if you're listening with sub it gives you extra groove so i will show you the total sound together with the track Still not there it needs a lot of work but i mean the the, the, I the idea is there it's almost uh ready to mix and uh finish the track then the second part of the drop it's pretty much the same but i added some extra things i changed the midi this one so. then we have this screaming guy on the background just gives you something extra um i think this one is also new yeah percussion it's a sample what i made myself in a remix for for jaws i did a remix for him and i used this sound and i used it again because i liked it so you can hear the difference. It's the first part. Really basic, and then you get. Then the third part. The third part is totally different um, I always try to produce a track that you can mix very well so uh, the third part is the part for me where you mix new tracks in um, so I don't want it too busy right here so the main sound is gone I delete everything and we have this only the bass line and I added this sample let's see I totally cut it. Sounds like a Oliver Heldens bass line, only on the steroids because it's 150 ppm. Um, of course, I cut the low because I have uh, my bass line already. And um, and a side chain. That's it. So the third part of the drop. So that's the third part. It's um, less sounds, less crazy, but uh, a perfect time to mix. And you track it so now i showed you the 
how I built the break, the build up and the drop. It's just a project I make really fast. For now, I will show you the, the track, full track, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here you go. I hope you learned something and I also really hope you enjoyed the track. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later. <laughs>